I want to talk and I don't want to get too far off track, but I do want to talk about what happened to Crowder mm. at a little Cuban restaurant. Um, Down south. T- tell it to Solana here real quick. Well, I, I, I you, you got to hear what happened and, and what he did. Okay, Solana. So but, I'm waiting. But down like down south, what like Homestead or I just it, it, anything beneath the stadium is down south to me. Down there somewhere. I don't know where the hell I was. But my wife, she this is the story. So I take my son, I take my son to the hospital yesterday, and it takes all damn day because I'm not gonna call the hospital out. It's terrible down there. So it takes all damn day. So then my uncle lives around the corner. He's like, hey, I can pick up a little uh, – I can I can take a little chain up, up north so you can wait for Asia. My wife asked me to wait for her so I can drive her home because she drove with a friend. So I don't know how long it's going to take her because she could call me at any moment. I have to go get her. So I stopped at this little Cuban place. You know, I love Masas de Cerdo or Masas de Portico, whatever they call, they call it. And I'm like, I'm going to go see. I'm going to go down here. I'm in South Miami. I know it's a good Cuban place. I stopped at the Cuban place. This is where it gets I get stuck up because as soon as the lady walks to the table, I order my entire meal. Let me get the Masas de Porco. Let me get, a, you know, a, two, a Diet Coke and let me get the, the flan. And as soon as the first time she sees me. Really? You order the dessert? Yep. And I tell them, wait till I'm done. I'll let you know when I want my dessert. Huh. Yeah. I, I, but, the last, thing, uh, but why do you order it then? Just wait. Because in it, case it's, my it's wife calls, but in case my wife calls me like she's like, hey, I'm ready. I can tell her, put my dessert to go. And I'm already the bill's already I ready, and it's it's done. I, I will tell you though to order the dessert at a place that you haven't been to yet without having having sampled the food yet. You know, yeah, I go there a million times. I know I love the tres leches. Okay, hey, and when I'm done, just go ahead and bring it. I don't need the whole song and dance. You know, <laughs> bring it. I'm already in. I'm already. <laughs> I've never been there before. You, you take know. it easy. Yeah, maybe you just need to see how the food goes. The pork's nasty. The flan's probably yeah. going to be terrible. You know what? I like how you call it porco, by the way. <laughs> porco. They call it massive day porco. You're That's close. what they call it. I like close. that. Yeah. yeah. So then, so I ordered it all up. I'm ready. They bring the Diet Coke. Then she brings that little buttery flatbread. The, the best. The little smash. The best part of going to a Cuban restaurant. Was it the, the pan cubana? Tostado. I asked for extra and make a little poke sandwich. Out of my fried pork because I put a material. I just it, it's yeah, fat. Great move. No, I know yeah. it's pretty smart, but it's yeah, fat. Move. fat. But so full meal ordered. Place is nice and it's packed too. It's actually right when the heat. Guess what? I'm watching the heat game. I'm like, oh, I find somewhere with a TV and I see a TV and I see a Cuban spot. I love it. They bring the the butter bread, whatever you have to say, pan de whatever tostada. Pana de tostada. No, just tostada. Oh, they, they bring, bring the tostada. tostada. They the bring tostada my tostada is not bread. No. Isn't, isn't that the isn't that the the, the yeah, banana? That's yeah. the banana. Well, blend. no, yeah. no, tostada is bread. That's that. Is, no, okay. I don't. know. It's pan, I mean, pan cubano with butter, and they toast it a tostada. Hmm. hmm. What's oh, I'm that? thinking of a tostone. Tostone, yeah. right, right, is a fried right, plantain, right, right. and they they crush it. Give me the 305 it. alarm. You're already a minute late. I know oh, it's a good boy. story, but go ahead. <laughs> Dale, dale, dale. 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 Thank you, Jimmy. 305 Alarm, sponsored by Anna and Levine, Accident Attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. So go ahead. Everybody knows. Little little piece of bread. Toast nice toast. and crispy and buttery goodness. And they bring it out. It looks so good. So I'm sitting there. It's actually when. The 76ers went on the, the 12-0 run right there at the end of the first half. So I'm sitting there, I'm watching. They bring the bread out there in a little bread basket that you love, a little red basket. Love a basket. And my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, tells me for no reason, hey, Chan, flip over the bread. Flip over the little tostoni. Because oh, you no. grab one. Yes. So it's in your hand. And, and you could just eat it. I could have just bit it. But I do not know why I flipped this bread. I just grab it and turn it over. Don't know why. Not an antenna, not a wing, not a leg. A full roach is pressed in. I can tell it's flattened and pressed in to the bottom of my pana de tostone. What? I call the lady. It's packed. And this is me being nice. I don't want to make a scene. I'm disgusted. You know, now I've pushed everything away and I'm sitting there. I had to close my eyes and recalibrate. So I call the lady. I got wave at her over the bar. I'm like, you come in for a second. She doesn't even walk around the bar. She leans over the bar. What do you need? And I walked the bread. I was like, hey, this this is in my bread. And point to the roach. 
she just grabs the bed and, 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 and you know, shuffles off and goes talk to the manager. At this point, I don't know what I do. My, my meal's ordered. They're back there frying my pork right now. I just watched the squashed roach in the back of my bread. What the hell do I do from this venture? What would you do, Solana? I leave. Right. I, like, I, thank you. That, and and it, what I said to Crowder, I'm at Burns Steakhouse, and there's a pressed roach in a roll. I'm going to get the manager. I'm not going to make a scene. I'm going to get the manager. I'm getting a $500 gift card. It's Burns Steakhouse. I'm at a little cafeteria mm-hmm. in Miami. Thank you. I'm. I think I'm gonna leave. Thank you. So like Isabella's. I'm not gonna say the name though. I'm there. They take the bread. The lady comes and apologizes with my pork. There's a big plate of fried pork in front of me with black black beans and rice. So I sit and I turn all my pork pieces over. I check everything on my plate, and I continue to finish the meal. Eat my little flan and leave. How was the flan? It wasn't that good. The place wasn't just the food was garbage oh, you, anyway. You don't say. Huh? <laughs> a shocking ending to that but, story. But I was assuming, and I didn't say anything. I didn't make a big deal. I probably should have made a bigger deal. But I just kind of I I smoothed it over. And then this is my fault. Then the manager sees me eating my food. It's like oh, I couldn't affect him that much. I had two diet cokes. They they sell them in cans. The pork, the flan, and two diet cokes. They walk over nicely and tell me, hey, this the last Coke is on us. No. So they gave me an 87-cent discount for finding a roach on my bread. You didn't take a picture. No. You because know what? If, had you said, you my said wife it, said the exact thing. Had you, had you just, when he said that, you take out the phone, you go, really? And you show a picture. Shocking to me, though, that you could finish that meal yeah. and not have, like, you just the, the, the heebie-jeebies. Because then I did have the EBG. That's why I'm checking every single piece of food I put in my mouth. But that's no way to eat a meal. Like it sometimes isn't. you got to cut your losses. That's what that's, it was. I, why you would forge ahead in that instance is beyond me. There's a lot of place to go. You're eating a gas station hot dog today. So it's not like you couldn't satisfy yourself at the 7 Eleven down the street with, you know, a slice of pizza. Me and my wife, after I picked her up, we went to Gecko on Brickle. I mean, what are you doing? That's Bad Bunny's restaurant, right? I, we went and get and that's the, not cheap. That's just oh my goodness! I had a wa- a wagyu flank steak. And by the way, wagyu skirt steak. You're at Gecko, and you have a you know a roach pressed into your uh, steak. You go to the manager. Trust me, they're gonna make you feel like royalty. And sir, this isn't something that happens here. We're mortified. I I, I just don't know how you could finish that meal because if the roaches are in the bread, Solana. You can only because there's no flavor there yet. They're hanging out like <laughs> like those are the roaches that couldn't get to the good stuff because there's so many roaches. There was no room. It's like, all right, well, we'll just hang out in the bread. It's the fried pork roaches. are the, yeah, the good ones. Yeah. Big, <laughs> big roaches. It's Early, not a good yeah. sign. It's not a good sign yeah. because to make tostada, what they do literally, they, they get the Cuban bread, right? Pan Cubano. They just layer, lather it in butter. And then they have like these pressers. You mm-hmm. open up the presser, I mean, you're staring at nothing, right? Just the presser. And if there's a roach sitting there and they they didn't see them while they put the bread on it and closed. See, but I don't think it was in the press. I think it got glued to the bread when they buttered it. And the bread, I Ooh. did, and I did observe this, Alana. The bread was only single sided, single side butter. Because some of them do both sides. Oh, they got to do both the, sides. It was the top, and I don't know why I flipped it to the dry side. And I swear this was me praying when I do. God told me, man, flip this damn bread over. Well, God should have told you to, to get out of that restaurant. You know, you should have you should have you should have had a full conversation with God. But now I'm sitting there, and I was down there somewhere. I, I don't want to say Kendall because he gets all excited, but I was somewhere where it's not a lot of stuff around, and my wife is way down, like you know. You know, out there down south where it's like you start driving and you're 15 minutes off the highway and then this big-ass house pops up down there where the drug dealers used to live. That's where she was. So it's not a lot around. The heat game's on. It's kind of a little vibe because, you know, it's a bunch. There's a roach cooked into your bread. The bar's full. What kind of vibe is this? The bar's full with the guys that came after work. Mm. There's families in there eating. The dad's watching the heat game. The mom and the kids are playing. Like, it's a cool, you can tell it's like a little neighborhood spot that everybody comes to. And what is this? A damn, this is a Wednesday night? I'm like, okay, I'm getting to watch the heat game, have some good food. 
Oh, I just looked it up. You were you were deep, deep. Like you were you were I, deep in in Southwest Florida. I, I was by like the Dadeland Mall. No, you were the, way deep. No, deep. at the by the hospital. The hospital, you, whatever you, the hospital is up there or around that area. Cause I know, you know, we have you, some you were properties near, down there. And I went probably twenty minutes further south where she was. Yeah, you were near like Southland Mall. Like you were you were deep. And, it, and is there roaches at Southland Mall? I don't know, but here's my thing. I'd love to judge you for this. I really would. Like, I'd love to hold this against you, but I once had a rat run over my foot at a pizza restaurant, and I made eye contact with somebody else who saw it, and everybody kind of just kept eating their pizza. Yeah. Now, we remember. Now, that was a little different. That was John's at Bleecker Street. You're in New York. It's infested with rats. Everyone kind of knows it, and it wasn't in your food. It was on your foot. Now, again, you still might have the heebie-jeebies, yeah. and maybe you take your slice and you take it to a hotel room or something. In this situation, the roach is pressed into – it's been prepared in the food. And did you only give them that bread back, or did you give them the whole basket? The whole basket. Yeah, I couldn't eat any bread. They didn't bring if any I, more out? What? They didn't I bring any if, more out? If I No, no, she wouldn't dare. <laughs> But if I would have taken a bite of even the non-roach bread, I think I would that would have turned my stomach, that I ate the bread right. that the roach was around. Me p- flipping over the first one and seeing the roach, that didn't turn me off enough. I, right. Looking back, I should have looked at it, looked at her, showed her, and said, thank you all so much. I Horse. I'm sitting there. I'm like, well, I got the pork on the way. I don't know. I guess I'm fat and hungry. I'm sure the flan was fine. Very dry. All right, let's get headlines real quick uh, here with Alejandro Solana because Doug Plagan is going to join us. Bro, I got to tell you, though, really quickly. I mean, you call me a sucker all the time for letting dentists and doctors take advantage of me. All you got off was a 99-cent Coke in that situation. It's a terrible terrible look on his part. It's a terrible look because it says so many things. (laughs) It it just says so many things. You've got 150,000 Instagram followers. You should have been the GM of that place by the time you walked out I'm with him there. there. I'm not going to embarrass a little place, but I am going to make sure that they know that there's a roach pressed into the bread. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let them know that I'm no longer comfortable eating here, so have a nice night. I hope you get things sorted out. Hawk, (laughs) if Crowder made the decision to eat there, he shouldn't have paid for that meal. Of course not. That, like that, that's all not. I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not Agreed. saying to blast a, a, a mom and pop shop. Like, bro, things like that happen. But all they gave you comp right. was a no. soda. You what, leave what, there what, with, with, like, if anything, they they're giving you something. You literally have to be visited by every employee in that restaurant. Yeah. Is everything okay over here? I heard what happened. Uh, so sorry. That never happens here. We're going to talk to our bread provider because that was probably on their end. Like someone, it can't be her taking the basket of bread going, oh, thank you. Sorry about that. And then writing off a can of Coke. Yeah. And you know what? Now we're talking through it. The waiter, you could you could tell us a family play. You could tell everybody knows each other. They're not hiring somebody off zip recruiter. <laughs> the <laughs> The nicest young thinking about Citrix <laughs> or Isabella's <laughs> by Southland Mall. Can't figure out. I'll see who has better benefits. <laughs> she is she's probably 17. Nice as all get up, very pleasant. Comes oh, hey, how's your day? You heat fan. I see you watching the game. She's just so pleasant. It was the greatest service until the roach got involved in the service. Man. So that might have made me stay. And now that I'm just – I'm the dummy now. I've figured out y'all have solidified that. I tipped the hell out this young girl. Tipped well, the hell out of her. I, yeah, and I wouldn't blame it on the server. So my <laughs> tip is not – like, that's going to be fine. But, man. I, I never know. hesitate. But on like, I'm sitting there. I'm like, there's no way I'm giving yeah. her 20. The bill was 30 bucks. And usually I give her a 20. Like, oh, I'm going to give her a 20. Look at that. I gave her a 20. 